so I know in the past we've had a couple guys on the show, but not to talk about specifically being a male fan. So today I'm joined by new friend of the pod, Dan, to talk about being a male InSync fan. So welcome, Dan. Thank you. So for every guest, when it's their first time to come on, we ask for your fan origin story. So how did you first become a fan of the guys? So I was in second grade. It was 1998. I was really in love with this girl, you know, in my class. And so um, she was into InSync and, you know, we were hanging out at her house one time and she showed me the Disney concert, and, and I was like, wow, this is cool. This is awesome, you know. And from there on, I got hooked, and next thing I know, I was learning the dance moves. I was performing at parties, and and then uh, around 2000, it, it was June, June 13, 2000, I went to my first concert at the No Strings Attached tour, and it was just it was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Um, yeah, I've just been I've been just a diehard fan since since then. You know, since uh, those days. You know, at recess I would dance on the playground, mm-hmm. and so so I was I was always that kind of the weird kid that was you know that was you know dancing off to the side on the playground. But I became really known for that. You know, and but I was the only guy in my my grade at least that I liked in sync. You know, and stuff like that. You buy? Did you buy the Pop Odyssey VHS or oh, DVD yeah. when those came out? Oh yeah, um, I I still have those. <laughs> Me too. And uh, uh, yeah, like I had Darren's Dance Grooves, I had In the Mix, the HBO special, Making the Tour, which actually Making the Tour, they filmed part of it at the Tacoma Dome. Okay. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. That does sound familiar. Yeah, like um, if you remember the uh the TV version of it where they did Space Cowboy. Mm-hmm. That was a, that, that was the concert I was at. Oh my, that's cool though. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, and I remember we were in the parking lot, and you know we were walking up to the stadium, and the bus went by, and my parents, you know, said, "Oh, that's probably not them. It's just a publicity stunt," you know. And then I saw making a tour a couple months later, and then I saw that it was actually them recording. You know, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I mean, there were so many buses though that it could have. I mean, it could have been for yeah. them, but could have been. Oh yeah. Some yeah. of the tour crew and things like that, but for it to be their actual, but like that's, that's yeah, cool. yeah. 